Hey guys, Jen here. I am making some melt and pour soaps. I thought I would do a video and bring you guys along. I have had requests for um, soap on a rope. So I purchased my rope. It's 100% um, natural cotton. And I want to make loofah soaps. So as you guys can see, I have my loofahs here, and I have some ideas um, with how I want to do this, but I have to find the right size loofahs um, to fit, I, but I just thought I'd bring you guys along for the process. And um, I can use the bigger ones because I'm going to do um, a loaf as well of loofah soap. But I need some smaller ones that will, I'm going to make 12. And I'm going to see. Ooh, some of these are really big. I want to make it where you can actually see the loofah. So I'm going to do these and clear them out and pour. There we go. Now, so I have my rope and I have an idea. Um, I don't know if it's going to work at all. Um, I don't soak my loofah or anything in, in advance because I've done that before in the past and I had a lot of issues um, with water and stuff. So, yeah. So I'm just making a knot in the end of my rope. And I'm actually going to bring my knot and put it in the middle here, in the middle of that loofah, and then I'm going to put this in here. I don't know how they're going to look. I have no idea, but I'm going to try it. So, I'm going to pause you guys and do all of these, and I'll bring you back. Okay guys, so everybody has their little loofah and string attached. Now, I'm going to do these two-toned, I hope. <laughs> so, um, the bottom, I'm going to use a white melt and pour base, which I know you won't be able to see through. Um, I'm going to do, I'm doing these lavender lemon scented and I have some lavender butter that we carry at Be Scented that I'm going to be adding to this white portion. <clears throat> and I'm going to shoot for around 24 ounces, um, give or take a little. Um, when I do melt and pour, I don't measure exact amounts, um, just because uh, if I ever have any extras or whatever, then I just I save it and I put it in embeds. So I'm okay if you know I have extras, but. Just so you guys know, I'm shooting for roughly 24 ounces. Which is this whole two pound, uh, or no, not two pound, almost the whole two pound block. I'll probably do three of these.
I'm just chopping it up into small size cubes. I'm gonna do one more. We're gonna get this melted, and then I'm gonna add in um, a little over a tablespoon of my lavender butter, and then add in a little over a tablespoon of my fragrance in this half. And if it fills the mold a little more than halfway, that's okay. I just really want a clear portion on the top so you can see the loofah. So, we're going to get this melted down and I'll bring you back. Hey guys, so we have just a tiny few cubes here that have not melted, which is fine. As you stir and add your color and all that good stuff, it will continue to melt. We don't want to overheat it is the thing. So, what I'm going to do is grab another spoon. We're going to put some of the lavender butter in there and some of our fragrance. Or, I mean, the colorant. So, I'm not going to put too much. Just Hopefully the heat and warmth from the melt and pour will get that nice and melted. We can always pop it back in the microwave, but you just don't want to overheat your melt and pour soap. That's what help. That's what causes um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, it to sweat really bad if you overheat it. Uh, can I run out so you can get the other sharpie? Yeah. Alright. Throw it away. It's no good. Yeah, it won't work. I'm gonna. Add in some of our colorant. Because we're doing lavender hey. lemon. Ugh. How do I get this? Oh, okay, that's our purple. I always told you the purple. I'm gonna give this a few spritz to help dissolve the colorant. Going nicely. Alright guys, I'm going to keep stirring this till it's all melted and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, everything's about melted. I just added the fragrance. And I'm just stirring, make sure everything's incorporated. I'm using lavender lemon from Be Scented. Okay, you guys can get the paper. All right. Now I'm going to try to pour into one of the holes. Uh, first, I'm going to spritz them with some alcohol, just to kind of get them moist. There we go. And I'm going to at first attempt to pour about half full of the mold. Slowly. I'm going to stir this. Keep this stirred up. Some of the color is settling. <laughs> now I have never done this before. So, you guys are the first to watch and see me try this.
Just making sure everybody gets hopefully around the same amount and then I can always add extra. said I have an idea doesn't mean it's gonna work I'm gonna try alright guys so I'm going to give these all a spritz. Pause you guys. We're going to chop up my clear portion and color it and I will bring you back for the pouring of that one. Okay guys, I'm going to bring you back with the clear one. I really don't want to put any lavender butter in this one because I want this portion to stay clear. I don't want it to be cloudy. And we're going to color this one yellow. Um, I actually have the soaps in the fridge right now to help set up quicker, um, you know, or to get a good skin over um, to where it's, uh, I can pour this on top. And now I don't want this to be too hot. That's why we still have them chunks in here. Um, but I'm just stirring it. I'm going to add the colorant. Um, and then we will go from there. Now, I need to get the colorant. We're going to do yellow. And I want to do a mica. That way it is very transparent. The color. So, let me, I need to fill up, I think, if I have any left. Yes. Um, my alcohol container is about empty, so I'm going to fill that up. Rubbing alcohol is your friend when you're making melt and pour. I do not do a lot of melt and pour whole soaps. Uh, I use it mostly for embeds, but I think melt and pour has a beautiful purpose uh, in whole soaps. I absolutely love, uh oh, I spilt it. Um, I love the way some of the designs you can get with melt and pour. Um, now, granted, I don't try for those. I'm not great at melt and pour. I can do some layers, and that's about mm -hmm. it. There are some awesome melt and pour soap makers that make phenomenal soaps with melt and pour. I watch several on YouTube. Just love them. I'm always like, ugh. I can understand, I mean, I don't see how they don't charge an arm and a leg for their soap because of the time that it takes to make these. It's astronomical. So, I'm just going to, as you can see, this is a beautiful color. Um, I'm going to just get this mixed, let this uh, slowly melt that little last chunk in there then I'm gonna add my fragrance and I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to pour it okay guys these are not completely set but they are set up enough to where I can pour the top layer um, everybody gets a good spray with alcohol and I need to break the skin that's on the top of this. I've been letting it cool. I'm going to give it a nice stir. I'll clean up his mess. Uh, you guys clean up the mess. I'm going to give this a nice stir to knock down the skin that was on top. And so a few chunks may pour into here because of the skin that was on top, but that's okay. We're going to work on filling our molds 
and I am hopeful that I have made enough and that when all is said and done you'll be able to see the loofah when I unmold these. Ooh. I may not have made enough soap. We'll see. If I have to mix up some more, I will. And that's okay. Just stirring this, because this is all good soap, it's just starting to set up. Where it's cooling down quite a bit. I think I'm going to have to mix up just a little more. Not much, but just a little. Alright guys. Alright, I'm going to pause you. Right, guys, we're going to try to unmold these see what they look like. Really excited. How cute. So there we go. You can definitely see the loofah inside. You can see it on the bottom too on some, but nice. Still a little soft, but not bad. Alright guys, so there we have it. They turned out good. I'll get some photos taken and post it in the group. Thanks for watching.